rate, unit rate, and better buy. And in this video, we're focusing on better buy. So if you're watching this video, then you should have already watched the rate and unit rate video before this. To determine which product is a better buy, find the unit price of each item. The one that costs the least is the better buy. And guys, you're going to use this all the time in real life. I sit there in the grocery store and figure this out every single week. It's fantastic. At HEB, the cost of a 16-ounce bag of tortilla chips is $2.56. A 32-ounce bag costs $3.52. Which is the better buy? So we need to go back through and we need to figure out what information is important. We need to know that the 16-ounce bag is $2.56. We also need to know that the 32-ounce bag is $3.52. So first, let's write these as ratios. And just as we talked about in the first video, when we set up the ratio, we need to write the price as the numerator and the unit or the item as the denominator. So let's start with the 16 ounce bag. It's $2.56, so that will be our numerator. And then 16 ounces is the denominator. And then we can write the other ratio. So $3.52 for a 32 ounce bag. So now we have both of the ratios. What we have to do next is figure out the unit price for each of these uh, different products. Okay, so remember that means we need a, a denominator of one, so let's go ahead and figure that out. On the first one, that means we'll be dividing both numerator and denominator by 16. And on the second one, we'll be dividing both numerator and denominator by 32. So why don't you go ahead and solve that on your own. Uh, so pause the video to do that. And then once you are done, press play to check. So once I found the unit price, I discovered that the 16 ounce bag was 16 cents per ounce. And the 32 ounce bag was 11 cents per ounce. To figure out which is the better buy, the one that costs the least is the better buy. So the one with the smaller numerator is the better buy. That means this one right here is the better buy. So the 32 ounce bag is the better buy. And so that's what we need to write. The 32 ounce bag is the better buy. Which box of detergent is the better buy? Five pounds for four dollars and ninety-five cents, or eight pounds for seven dollars and thirty-six cents. So remember, we're finding the better buy, and then let's go back through five pounds for four ninety-five, eight pounds for seven thirty-six. So we need to set up our ratios, and again, the easiest way to do this is to do the price over the unit. So when we're talking about the five-pound bag. We're going to do the price as the numerator, $4.95, and then five pounds will be the denominator. And then when we are talking about the eight pound bag, the price will be the numerator, and the unit will be the denominator. So now we have the ratios, we just need to find the unit prices. Go ahead and pause the video to find the unit prices, and then press play and we'll continue. The unit price for the five pound bag is 99 cents per pound. The unit price for the eight pound bag is 92 cents per pound. Well, which one costs the least amount per pound? That would be the eight pound bag. This is the better buy. So the eight pound bag, oops, is the better buy. And of course, by bag, I mean box. All right, so for this last problem, I want you to do this one completely on your own. Remember, when you set up your ratios, write the price as the numerator and the unit as the denominator. Then you need to find the unit price, and the one that costs the least per unit is the better buy. So go ahead and do this one on your own. We'll check it in class. And then once you finish that, remember, we still have the section on questions where you either need to write a question of confusion or a problem for your group to solve, one or the other. All right, make sure you get that done, and we will see you in class very soon.